Good morning, everybody. How's everyone doing? It is November 6, 2022, and the Popeye version 1. There are going to be two versions of this guitar that I might make and I might not make, but I'm definitely going to make one for sure. But uh, yeah, it's in the drawing phase. So this is the uh, first version. If you see my post earlier, you'd seen this. Uh, I did on PowerPoint, did the concept drawing. I think it's going to be very, very cool. And uh, I was actually thinking about doing the volume knob in his tattoo, his uh, sailing tattoo, um, you know. And uh, the, uh, the tone knob on this side, and this will be connected by the wood. And I might reinforce this. Somebody suggested it in a comment to reinforce this part that I posted on a page. And I might, I might not. It might be strong enough uh, for just the uh, arm there. But I'll definitely route for the tone knob, which would be really cool. Uh, then depending, when I cut the wood, depending on where it sits in the lap, the input jack probably be somewhere in this vicinity, I'm guessing. And as far as uh, strap buttons, oh geez, I wouldn't have the faintest clue. It'd probably be on the opposite side. And it'd probably be somewhere in this area, like one here, and then one uh, behind the neck plate. But yeah, I think that'll look really cool. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do the image, um, his, the backside image of this. I probably will. I'll probably just figure out what the backside image would be and just do that. Um, that'd be really cool. I'll have to figure that out. But, uh, or I could just do the front side painted and then the back side black. And of course, you know, his sailor outfit, you know, it's blue and black. It could be red. It, I've seen different variations, so... Definitely skin color is like a peach color. And then I'll, I'll fill in, I'll, you know, dremel all these bits and they'll be black. And then, of course, the yellow for the uh, the pipe. Uh, that would be really cool. But, yeah. This is the basic idea of what I'm going for for the, the version one, like I said. <laughs> I'm probably going to do two versions. If you've seen the Facebook page, you've seen the second version. That was the first one I posted. But, yeah. Ordered the neck, so I'm waiting on the neck. And, uh, I think size-wise, it's, uh comparable let me see let me grab a strat this is a standard strat of course billy joe armstrong blue and you can see it's let me see if i could do this one arm <laughs> without damaging anything you can see it's it's kind of like the size of a strat body so it's really not that big at all so strat body maybe a you know a little bit bigger than a les paul body per se well definitely an unusual shape but I think it's going to work out to where it's going to sit in your lap really cool, but yeah. Alright, so, just thought I'd do some drawing on Sunday. I've been playing, practicing guitar, of course, but I always like to do some concept drawings, so. Yeah, like I said, the, the volume knob there, that'd be really cool. And now I'm thinking about going with a humbucker, a chrome humbucker, and either with a black um, pickup ring or no pickup ring at all, and just have it set. Strat style bridge, of course, and that might even be the actual bridge I'm going to use. Uh, probably square input jack, and then all chrome hardware, and everything like that. So, you look pretty cool. Alright, I hope everybody's having a good day, and we'll look forward to starting on this build and cutting out the wood. But yeah, Popeye number version one is in the drawing phase, and we will see you soon. Alright. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's week is going good. Alright. It is time to continue work on the Popeye version 1 electric guitar. And uh, we're going to cut the wood for this today. And I readjusted where I wanted the neck pocket to go. So it's going to look pretty killer right where it's at. I shifted it back slightly so I could have the bridge a little further in the body. And we're going to let go with the, the chrome humbucker pickup right there. The tone knob there, the volume knob, and then after I cut the wood, I'll figure out exactly where the impact input jack is going to go. I'm guessing somewhere in the vicinity of here, maybe. And it all depends on where your your knees and everything when when the guitar's on your lap when you're sitting and playing, where that will go. But I think there's going to be enough girth here that I want to have to reinforce. But I'm definitely going to have to rat out for the tone knob. That's going to be very very cool. So all right, so. Let me finish drawing this up, and then we're going to cut this shape out, and then apply it to the wood, get the wood ready, so. Alright, just going to give an update, start building some of the guitars again. Took a few days off there. Just kind of taking a breather. Got a lot done very quickly. 
Got a bunch of these snacks. I ordered four of these snacks and two came a little defective, just a little defective, I can, which I can fix. We're going to send me two more. So I'm going to have a total of six of these snacks. So that's going to be really cool. And then I ordered a few of the other Jackson, more Jackson style snacks to continue some of the, I'm going to make a couple Ninja Warrior guitars, different ones. So, but all right. So everybody's having a good day. And we will see you next step. All right, see you next step. Alright, got everything squared away, got everything where I want it. Now I'm going to carefully cut out the shape on the uh, cutout, get the cutout cut out, and we'll see in a little bit. Alright, successful cutout of the cutout. It <laughs> looks pretty awesome. I love that shape, and it's, it's, you know, here's the scale, here's my hand. But yeah, it's not huge, but it's not small. It's kind of like right in the middle. It's going to be very cool. And I think your arm will wrap right there when you, it's going to be so so badass i mean that's so wicked all right so next step what i'm going to do is i'm going to put together some more sheets of paper and i'm going to flip this over and then i'm going to draw a back copy of it um of the shape of the cutout and that way i'll be able to trace out where all the lines will be on the reserve reverse side and i'll have to figure all that out and so that'd be pretty cool all right let's see in a little bit all right trying to figure out the back of the guitar as far as what is visible and I think I'm working out a pretty good result. His fingers are shown on both hands, of course. The back of the uniform uh, being black. Uh, you can see his one arm a little bit. And then the back of the head with the hat. So I think that's pretty close representation. And I'll refine that even more. So, But that's on a separate sheet. That's on a separate from the original cutout. So yeah, there's the original cutout. So. Alright, so time to get the wood together and situate the wood, and we will see in a little bit. Alright, All right, how's everybody doing? Okay, I got my three pieces cut out from my scraps that I had left over. And we're going to go with uh, 24 inches long by 20 inches wide. And I cut out, and i chosen the good quality. Probably go with the front on this one. Um, better quality of the cuts on the outside and then the inside a little bit less quality so all right next step is going to get the uh the pattern out here and then we can trace it on there and we can figure out we're going to temporarily attach all three together and then we get the scroll saw going and we'll cut out the shape all right see you in a little bit i got four screws placed in there temporarily locking all three pieces together and i uh let me get the uh pattern on there and draw it out Got scroll saw queued up and we'll cut it out. See in a little bit. All right, I placed the uh, template, taped it down temporarily, and then I drew out the shape. So this is the shape we're going for. And I'm gonna be very careful in the vulnerable parts. There's a couple of vulnerable areas. That's okay. Secure that up here. <laughs> All right, let's save that in case I need to build another one. <laughs> So there's a couple vulnerable spots, like this vulnerable, I think, the connection. And that's, I guess, a little vulnerable, but I think it'll be okay, the connection. So get the scroll saw queued up. So let me carefully cut out this shape. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, just the shape itself, the silhouette. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, quick update, taking a little break. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to take shape. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the piece cut out. <laughs> and it is looking awesome that is just amazing that looks cool got a little thing i can couldn't reach with the blade so i'll have to chip just a little corner right there with uh some files or whatever whatnot but actually and this is really stable this is this piece right here i thought you know you know you might need to support it a little bit somebody suggests they thought i should support that but now i think it's going to be fine even when i put a i'm going to put a you know small uh two wire channel right through there just to the ground and the uh for the tone but other than that no that looks pretty cool that is just awesome and it sets right in your lap really good and i think i'll put the input jack a square input jack like right there and then i think that should be enough room i'll angle it a certain way you could plug it in right there but or you know somewhere in that vicinity because uh let me turn the camera on and show you where it sits in your lap as far as that goes up so Alright, got the body. I just wanted to show you where it sets. It actually sets perfectly like a flying V, like right there. And then hmm, I might, could even put the input jack over here. I could actually put it way back here. 
I'd have to bore out a little bit more room, but uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. It's somewhere cool, but uh, let me show you where it sits, actually. It actually sits pretty cool, and it's, you know, you figure the neck's coming right out of here, so the neck is going to be that way, and then your arm will be right here. The bridge is going to be roughly right there, so I think that's going to be awesome, and you can pivot it any way. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. Your arm will actually rest on this part right here. That might put, you know, I'm going to round all that so it's going to feel really good. And I could even do a semi-belly cut right there if I wanted to on the other side. Uh, probably won't though. But yeah, that'll be right there. Real cool. Just wanted to show you. So, I don't know how much more I'm going to do today. It's getting kind of late. It's, uh, I started kind of late today. I'm a little bit tired. But uh, yeah, looks pretty killer. Let me flip the camera around. I'll be right back. Alright, and the body blank is cut, so that's going to be pretty cool. Next uh, next uh, process is going to be to cut out the uh, the neck pocket, figure out that, everything like that, and then figure out the bridge and everything like that, but we'll do that. Yeah, I'll probably call it for today. Uh, take my time with this one. A little tired. It took a long time to cut that out just perfectly because, uh, you know, the scroll saw, I mean, one little minor mistake and a woo! So, all right, hope everybody's having a good day, and we will see you soon. All right, that'll conclude today's progress. There's the next two builds. Wood is cut. The Lisa's in, so actually, next three builds. <laughs> and then Ninja Warrior number five, the Popeye and the Lisa Simpson. All right, hope everybody has a good night, and we will see you pick it up tomorrow. All right, we'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. It is November 11, 2022. It's time to continue work on the Popeye electric guitar. I got all my parts and everything scattered everywhere. It's time to continue work. Um, this morning we're going to cut out the neck pocket. We're going to sand the edges. We're going to file the little bits and see how we are. And uh, possibly uh, install the neck. Um, install the bridge. Uh, let's get a general layout of what we're going to do. Alright, I'll see you next day. I got the uh, all the little extra bits that I couldn't get with the initial cut, like the pipe and a couple other spots. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a round edge on everything. So we're going to get out the Dremel tool and we're going to make these edges nice and rounded. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, got the edges real nice and rounded. Looks pretty good. Feels awesome. Okay, next step is going to be to get the pattern back out and then trace everything on there as far as with pencil and then figure out exactly where the <clears throat> neck pocket's gonna go. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the front side penciled in. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Yeah, neck pocket be right there on the bridge. So that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, I got a couple knots right here, but I think it'll be okay when I got the wood filler and I carve it in there and just got, you know, you won't be able to tell at all. So that'd be pretty cool. I'll probably poof out the hat just a little bit, but yeah. All right. So let me flip it over and do the same thing in the back and we'll see a little bit. Alright, temporarily drew in the back bit. So I'm not too happy with the way the hand looks, but we'll just refine it later. But alright, so next step is to turn it over and then draw out where the neck pocket's gonna go. And then uh, actually get the scroll saw going and cut out the neck pocket. But alright, we'll see in a little bit. Alright, drawing out my neck pocket. I got the neck out and drew out the shape and then my X's where the intonation line is going to be. So let me separate all three layers, get the scroll saw going, and then cut out for the neck pocket. And we'll see you next up. Real quick, before I separated them, I decided to drill through all three layers for the volume and the tone. <laughs> the tone's going to be pretty cool way up there. So, Alright, let me uh, separate and we'll get the pocket. All right, we'll All right, got the neck pocket cut and the neck inserted. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty awesome. I need to cut my, uh, see a little bit of a gap. I gotta fill, so I gotta cut my tendon, my neck tendon real quick, and then we'll get it all situated and all squared away. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then I'll, once I do all that, I'll be able to connect them and see how it sits in the lap and everything. So, all right, let's we'll see you in a little bit. All right, got the neck tendon put in and I got the neck dialed in. It's the perfect depth. I already checked the neck and I did a string test on the bridge. All right, so what I'll probably do is uh, connect the neck and then recheck my strings and then uh, refasten all three pieces and then we can actually install the neck. So that'd be pretty, pretty exciting. All right, we'll see in a little bit.
All right, got the neck pocket dialed in perfectly. I did a string test. I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, time to install the neck. I've got my brand new uh, neck plate right there. All right, and it's uh, nice and tight too, which I like. So it's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I think I can. It's in there pretty tight, but yeah, looks pretty good. All right, let me install the the neck plate, and we'll be right back. But looking pretty cool, and it sits in the lap pretty awesome too. I'll have to show you that. But all right. Alright, got the neck attached. <laughs> it's looking awesome. Looks like I got it dialed in perfectly. Alright. Sweet. That looks killer. Yeah. That is sweet. I love that shape. I can't wait to see you with some paint on here. Got a long way to go before we get to that point, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. Alright, so let me redraw the lines because sometimes lines can shift a little bit. So I'll redraw all my and make sure my lines are pretty accurate dead on. I'll do a string test real quick and then uh, we'll see about the bridge and maybe we can even install the bridge. Try to do it better this time than we did the last time. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got the bridge exactly where it needs to be, right on my uh, intonation line and right where the lines are perfect. And then I pre-scored my holes. Got five holes for this, the screws are right there. So I've got my uh, drill bit with the pre-depth I got my depth marker and we'll go ahead and install the bridge and I'll be right back when we're done. All right, got the bridge installed. Looks pretty good. I did my string test and everything's perfect. The pitch is perfect. It's dead center. Uh, I'll check the intonation again, but uh, we're good to go. And then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, show you where it's at in the lap and everything like that. So I'll spin the camera around, but I'll be right back. All right, let me just show you where it's at. Pop by and see it. I hope the light it seems like we're getting a little bit of reflection. Yeah, let me move the camera just a little bit. It's fun to show you where everything's at. One second. All right, there we go. All right, and see where it sits. It sits perfectly right in there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're not going to help. But let me show you where it sits. Yeah, and you can get right to the bridge, and it's perfect. And I think it'll hang well on a strap too. So, all right. So there we go. Got the bridge installed. Everything's looking pretty good. All right. So I'll be right back. All right, real quick, I decided I think I'm gonna go with the input jack, like right there. I've got the square one, and it fits perfect. So that'll work right there. Input jack will be right there, and it'll work cool. And there'll be enough, for, you know. And this, there's nothing behind this except for a screw. So I got to be careful of that one screw. But other than that just the input and then around there and then it's gonna look cool so I'm gonna go ahead and draw out where I'm gonna put the uh, the pickup I'm not gonna use a pickup ring I'm just gonna go set it right in the body so it'll look cool it's gonna look really sweet when it's painted it's gonna it's gonna look awesome all right so we'll see you in a little bit all right draw out where the pickup's gonna go perfect all right so now I got to this point so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take off the neck and I'm gonna disassemble everything and I'm gonna glue the top and the middle layer together because there's no need for them to be a part at this point. All right, and we will see you in a little bit. All right, it's handed both sides. Now it's time to glue the top to the middle piece. So we'll do that real quick and we'll be back in a second. All right, the second and the, the middle and the top piece are glued together and it is looking awesome, yeah. And it went together without a hitch. All right, so the next step is gonna be to drill some pilot holes and then get the scroll saw back out and cut out for the pickup. Yep, moving right, along, moving right along. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, drill some pilot holes for my pickup. <sighs> Sorry. For the pickup opening, yeah, a little bit of tear away, but not too bad. All right, so let me get the scroll saw out, and we'll drill that out, and we'll be right back. All right, got the pickup cavity cut out, and it is looking killer. Sweet. All right. So next step is going to be to figure out all the wiring. This isn't the pickup I'm going to use, by the way. This is just a mock-up, but it's, the, it's it's pretty much the identical shape. Should come today in the mail. So it's really hot, uh, passive uh, chrome pickup. Just looks looks exact same. But uh, all right. So now it's time to flip it over and figure out all the wiring. So like I said before, the tone, the volume, and then the input jack, and then a. Uh, ground wire for the bridge and that's pretty much it. It's gonna be a pretty much straightforward uh, wiring on this one So I'd right, slip it over and kind of draw it where we're gonna to go and we'll see in a little bit All right, pretty straightforward wiring got the wiring figured out 
from the input jack, from the volume knob just to here, and then all the way up for the tone. And I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go with a standard pedometer. I'm not gonna do a push-pull, even though the, the pickup that I did get has the, the coil split capability, but I actually I don't have an under coil split uh, switch, at least as far as I don't know. I could take a look better, because I did order some. Yeah, let me go look in the room and see if I could find, I think I have one coil split uh, switch. Not sure. I could just go with a straightforward, uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about coil split. Well, let me go look just to make sure. All right, we'll be back. All right, I looked and I don't have a coil split switch. So we're just going to go with the standard uh, volume and tone configuration. So, all right. So I got my Dremel tool back out. So let's go ahead and channel for the wiring. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, I definitely uh, did all the wiring. It looks pretty good. The input jack, the volume, and the tone. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. And uh, I did the input jack on the back side as well. So let me show you that real quick. So we are good to go as far as the input jack being right there. It's going to be sweet. And I think I already put the, uh, got the input jack right there. So it's going to look sweet right there. Yeah, that looks killer. It's going to be right there it's gonna look perfect so all right so uh getting kind of tired it's getting uh getting late in the day uh kind of ready to lose daylight sun's getting ready to set in a little while so um i figured the last thing i want to do for today i don't think i'll be able to get to the glue phase today but i'm gonna open and get the uh since i got the uh scroll saw already out I'm gonna cut the openings for the pedometers and that'll include for today so let me go ahead and knock that out and I'll be right back all right I opened up the pedometer openings I think those are big enough and then I'll countersink the cover of course but that'll conclude the progress today yeah it's getting kind of dark I'm losing uh, losing daylight uh, so we got a lot done so Pretty much all the wiring's done. I'll have to recheck tomorrow and make sure everything's perfectly good. It's gonna be cool with the uh, the volume and the tone, and then you know, I'll probably fortify this arm because it does feel pretty steady. So we'll see. But, all right. Hope everybody has a good night, and we will see you the next time. All right. We'll see you soon. Good morning. It is November thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two. And we are at 40 something degrees. We are in fine sunny day here in central Florida. Uh, sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. I took the day off yesterday because yesterday was kind of dreary and rainy off and on and just wasn't fun. But all right, it's time to continue work on the Popeye electric guitar build. And as you recall, we got all the way up to the wiring the last time. So we got pretty far. I guess today what the plan is to make sure all the wiring is good to go then to uh you know make sure everything is channeled out properly and correctly then glue the two pieces you know the uh, bottom piece to the central piece there and get it'll get completely glue phase complete and then uh maybe we'll make the uh the back cover plates real quick I've got one already, but I'll have to make another one and then countersink that. And that shouldn't be that hard at all to do. And after we complete that, then we'll do some body filler along the sides and make sure all the side bits are good and locked in and perfect. Then we'll go ahead and do a full on string test. We'll get the neck and we'll install the tuning keys, install the string trees, um, install some strings and you know see how it sounds acoustically then after we get all that squared away and good to go we might be able to go for the ugly phase part two which is a wood grain filler well actually before i do all that i'm going to get the dremel tool and i'm going to dremel all these bits out and countersink the bigger bits like the eye and the mouth there and the buttons and everything like that but other than that should be a pretty uh, productive day and we will see you next step. I guess next step's gonna let me take a look at everything and then uh, maybe we'll cut out the uh, the back cover plate, axe the pedometer covers.
All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, I did find I had a pre-made one, store-bought uh, pedometer cover plate, and I got me some material, so I got scroll shot. So I'm gonna make me another one. Then I'm going to countersink and then install those two, and we'll get that done. We'll see you next time. Ooh, it is frigid out here, but we're working with it. We'd rather deal with the cold. I'm from uh, Michigan originally, so dealing with the cold is definitely not a problem. So my blood is definitely uh, thinned out since I've been in Florida. But okay, so I drew out my two. I got my black sharpie. I drew out my two. And I'm gonna paint these. I'm gonna paint these the color of the corresponding wherever they're at. Like this is gonna be a black one. And that's going to be skin color for Popeye. So, and I decided not to use this one because the uh, the screws are so close to the edge that I don't know, I'd rather just have two of the same. So, got the scroll saw queued up. So let me cut these out and I'll be right back. All right, successful cutout for my two pedometer cover plate covers. Awesome. Awesome. I guess I could have made them smaller, but uh, that's fine. So. Because the access panel. Alright, so let me, I'm going to get them situated where I want them, get the pencil and mark it out, and then I've got a fresh blade on my Exacto and score it out, and then we'll get the Dremel tool out, then we're countersink, then we'll install some holes and we'll install them, and we'll be right back. Alright, put up our access panel plates cover installed, and well, not installed, but cut and countersunk. Let me show you that real quick, pretty cool. Alright, so I'll figure out what the screw holes, three screw holes each, and then we'll get it installed. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, I got the back cover plates installed, and I got the screws countersunk. And I marked it A for arm and B for body. And I'll be painting these, like I said earlier, that'll be black and that'll be skin tone. So alright, so next step's going to be to line everything up and see if I did all my wiring correctly. Uh, routing for the wiring, and do any kind of courtesy cuts I need to do. And then we'll glue the, the two pieces together and we'll see in a little bit. All right, we are green lit for the uh, glue phase, part two. I just wanted to show you the internal wiring. Got all the courtesy cuts cut, you know, where I round off little bits here. That way the wires can travel freely and without obstruction. And I'll put a few courtesy cuts on the back pieces. So. All right, just a quick note. Um, I actually did research yesterday online, several different sources. I thought it might be a really kind of cool, you know, just kind of a novel thing to make a smoke machine to where smoke would be coming out of his pipe. I thought that would be actually kind of neat to have a, a you know, remote control or a button in the back to where I could hit something. And when you're playing the guitar, like on stage or anywhere else, that a uh, stream of smoke would spew from his pipe and create a cloud and i you know i wish i could have I researched a lot of different what there's thing called the smoke cube and a few other things that really wouldn't fit but there was one that i could channel a pipe but it really wasn't cost effective and by the time i get it it'd be like two or three months or something like that so it's just uh kind of a bummer that that would be kind of cool. Imagine if I was, you know, someone was playing Popeye guitar and they pushed a button somewhere. It could even be a button that was on the face of the guitar and then smoke would start to spew out his pipe. That would be actually kind of cool. But anyway, that's not going to happen. But just a thought, just wanted to mention that, <laughs> that I did research that for a few hours yesterday to try to make that happen and uh, didn't happen. So, all right, so we're ready for the glue phase. So I'll clean it up, blow it off again and then glue these together and we'll see on the other side all right we'll see in a little bit all right, real quick i just wanted to show you that i did do the uh the ground uh wire hole so yeah and it comes out right about there so perfect all right so time to glue it we'll glue it and we'll see on the other side all right we've got a successful glue phase we are one solid piece all right looks pretty awesome and i think this arm is going to be way sturdy i mean that 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 is way sturdy. I don't think we're going to have any issue with that at all. And I blew the channels out. Make sure no glue seeped into the channel so we're good to go. This so next step is going to be to get some uh, some Bondo wood filler. And then fill any gaps on the sides. And any big voids up front. Any screw holes or anything like that. And we'll get that done and we'll see in a little bit. Uh, I just want to show you making progress on the ugly phase part one. Still got a little bit left to do but we're getting there. <laughs> Getting all the sides, as always, found it in, making it look as good as possible. 
All right, and we'll see in a little bit. I got a little bit more to do, but yeah, we're getting there. All right, we'll see in a little bit. Okay, all done applying the body filler. <laughs> looking awesome. Well, uh, ugly face part one. It's looking very ugly, but it's looking how it's expected to look. So, all right, next question is going to be to, um, well, obviously sand that, and then we'll do a string test and everything like that. But while we're waiting, um, I got my brand new blade on my X-Acto knife, and I'm scoring all the pencil lines, and I'm going to get my Dremel tool out, and I'm going to get the appropriate bit, and we're going to start working on, you know, carving these creases. So, that's going to be pretty awesome. All right, and we'll see you when I get a little bit done. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, just a quick update. I've been working on some of the etching, and it's turning out really good. It's uh, it's coming together. It's uh, it's going pretty smooth. It's been taking my time trying to get it right. So, so let me show you. And of course, I'll do all the wood filler, and I'll try to contour with the wood filler. And I'll, you know, I'm gonna have to sand the sides and sand everything perfect, of course. But yeah, uh, it's coming along pretty good. It looks pretty awesome. Alright, so I guess we'll have to flip it over and uh, do the same thing to the back bits. So, alright. Just wanted to show you with the light, with the, the shadows and the textures. It's looking pretty good. Alright, let me see it. Alright, I got the back figured out and dremeled in. Got all the bits, it looks pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that, that's cool. All right, next step is going to be to actually find some good sandpaper. I might have to go buy some, because the sandpaper, I've got a lot of sandpaper, but it's just used up pieces that, I got a whole bag worth of that. I need some trash, I think. Uh, next step is gonna be to get the sides perfectly sanded. And then we'll be ready for a good old sound test or string up test. So, but I want to get the side sanded perfectly until then. But just wanted to show you, get some light here. Gives it that 3D contour with the uh, the dremeling. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that is awesome. And I'm I'm happy the way the back turned out. I wasn't happy at first with the drawing bits. But I think I drew them in pretty good, so I think they're that this is gonna work. So it's pretty cool. And when I get the wood grain, wood grain filler, and I fill this all in and I make it completely perfect, it's gonna be awesome. All right. So like I said, next step, find some sandpaper, some good sandpaper, and do the the sides. Did do a little section right there, the sides, of course, but I'm gonna make it perfect. So. Alright, and yeah, we'll see you when I find some pan paper. Alright, we'll see you in a little Alright, whew, been at it for about seven hours today. I am tired. This will conclude today's progress on the Popeye electric guitar build. Yeah, it's looking it's looking awesome. I didn't get nowhere near finished uh, sanding the uh, the body filler. I got some in there, got inside the pipe there region, but I did get quite a bit done. Uh, wow, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, and it's just so cool. <laughs> it just looks... <laughs> I love doing this uh, dopamine kick-in. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that is, that is so cool. <clears throat> Going from the concept, uh, and I'm really, I'm really happy the way the back turned out. It did turn out really cool. When I get some paint on there, it'll come into full effect. Yeah, that's just amazing. <laughs> that's cool. That's why I love to do this. I mean, I hope I'm always able to to create and make guitars, especially the more radical. So if anybody has any radical ideas or something that I could uh, to work. But uh, yeah, just wanted to show you. And this will probably be it for today. Yeah, it's already starting to sun's already starting to set. Sun's on the horizon, get ready to set already. So I mean, about another half an hour, it's gonna get dark. I mean, it gets dark really quick now. Well, winter time. All right. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, Sunday. 
we'll start again tomorrow. See what we can get done tomorrow. But uh, yeah, pretty awesome. All right, everybody, have a good night. Stay warm, and we will see you tomorrow. All right, take it easy. Good morning, everybody. Another fine day here in Central Florida. Frigid day. It's in the 40s. Feels very cold. Not cold enough to see your breath, though, so it's not like frigid, frigid cold, but it's pretty chilly. Dogs are out enjoying the nice, crisp weather. Going out doing their thing. Anyway, time to work again on the Popeye electric guitar build. Got a lot done yesterday. Continue with the sanding, and then after we do that, then we'll uh, make everything else perfect. Try to do a string test today and see how that goes, and maybe install the uh, the string trees, the tuners, uh, the neck, of course, all the good stuff, and then uh, the strap buttons. Figure out where the strap buttons are going to go, and then finish sanding, get everything nice and smooth, and uh, we'll see how far we get. Um, and I have a little bit of wood filler, but I don't have enough, have enough to finish the job, so I'm going to have to go out to a nearby city because we don't have any locally. You can order it online, but it's twice the price. So that wood filler, that plastic wood that I use, the DAP, D-A-P. So I'll have to go to another city, which is not too far. It's just, you know, about an hour round trip. Oh, probably an hour and a half round trip. But, uh, yeah, I need to get some other stuff from there, from Lowe's, from nearby city. But, all right, so we'll get working, and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, quick update. I got all the sanding done on the sides. And it looks pretty awesome and then I applied body filler to the front and the back and I'm letting it cure you know it's kind of overkill but just a little any little surface imperfections I try to fill with body filler so that way when the next step comes the uh, the wood grain filler it'll be less uh, you know it'll have to fill in less and it'll sand smoother and it'll look more in the end I think it'll, it just looks better I think from what I've learned <laughs> over my past uh, little while of doing this technique and perfecting this method so yeah so okay so gonna let this set up and cure then we'll do a flat sand and then look and then see if we've got any more and then I've got the neck out and I've got some mini pegs and then we can actually get that going while this is curing and then we'll uh, do a full-on string test I got some cheapo strings I could use just for the test <laughs> And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, see you next up. All right, quick update. It's been a couple hours since last time I checked in. And we are done with the ugly phase part one. Got all the sanding completed and it looks pretty good. I am very happy with the results. It looks killer. All right. Yeah, I wanted to get all this done. Next step is going to be the string test. So. I'll get all the tuning keys installed on the neck and then we'll attach the neck and then we'll attach the bridge and then we'll put some uh, put some strings and see see if we can get it intonated a little bit intonated and tuned up and see how it looks and how it plays and then we'll put some strap buttons on and then uh, once all that's good to go, we'll be good for uh, the ugly phase part two, the wood grain fuller phase. But yeah, I just wanted to show you before I start to work on the neck and everything. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It is a killer design from drawing to where it is now. I mean, we've come so far and it looks, it looks awesome. All right, let me get the neck out and get some string trees installed and all that. So we'll see you next step. I got the tuning case installed and went successfully. No uh, hiccups. Sometimes uh, holes aren't big enough and you got to bore them out. That's why I had the Dremel there, but nope. Fit good. So we got that installed. All right, so we'll get the, the body out. We'll install the bridge and we'll be right back. All right, successful reinstall the bridge. Had to take my jacket off. It's got up to almost close to 60, so it feels pretty good. It's still completely sunny. Central Florida. All right, so now we'll uh, connect the the neck to the body again and then we'll put some uh, some strings on there all right we'll see you in a sec all right successful attachment to the neck <laughs> and it looks pretty killer and it looks pretty awesome all right time to do a full-on string test and i'll put a couple string put the strings on there and then we'll 
install the string trees. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. <sighs> and it spins. <laughs> it spins on the... Alright, so let me get some strings on there and see how we did. Alright, next looks pretty good. I don't know if I'll fill in a little bit there or if I, that's fine. I'm not sure yet. It did seem like it... The joint did stress just a little bit, but it'd be okay. All right, so let me get some mock-up strings on there, and we'll see. We'll be right back. Looks pretty cool. All right, got the strings installed. We'll put some mock-up strings. <laughs> I had some problems with the E-string. These strings are so cheap. Just as when I was tuning, it's just ping, 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 ping. So went through two sets already. I looked like I got another <laughs> thing I can tie off the spring if I need to, but. All right, so let me uh, get an intonation or get a basic tune on there and then we'll see how it goes. We're going to put some uh, string trees and strap buttons. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, installed the string trees. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty centered. Looking pretty awesome the way they configured like that. I love that on these necks. All right, so let me uh, get it up to pitch and let's see if we can get a sound test. All right, there's actually a lawn crew out here working, so, but got a basic tune on it and it sounds and plays pretty killer i'm just trying to figure out the strap buttons uh all right now this is going to be kind of tricky because we've got this extra the arm that normally is you know <laughs> this is kind of new so my guess as far as strap buttons are from my knowledge of constructing uh uh un you know typical guitars i guess right there would be a good guess for Right in the center, as always, right in the center of the, uh, right in the center there. And then maybe, um, depending, it might be like right on the back facing outward. Hmm. I could try one there and see what happens, but definitely. All right, let me get that going and we'll be right back. All right, got some strap button placement installed. Guessed, uh, for sure there, but I kind of guessed here slightly above the center line. And I didn't want to necessarily put, I was originally I was going to put it on the, right here, but I didn't want to put any extra strain on that, seeing how so it's, you know, it's, I think it would support it, but I just wanted to take any chances. So let me get a strap, let's see what happens. All right, we'll see. All right, got the strap buttons installed, and I got it somewhat tuned. I can't really see, yeah, I can see. And the strings are total crap, so. No neck dive at all, though. Fits right pretty good. Wonder if that glare. I think it hangs well. I think you could even go a little bit lower on the strap. Yeah. But it doesn't have any neck dive at all. And your hand feels really comfortable where it's at. I mean, it's coming right through here. I think that angle sun is catching it. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can be at a better angle with the camera. <laughs> or the phone, actually. Let's see. Yeah, that might be a little better. <laughs> there we go. I'll do a better one inside the house. Oh, it's colors. I can't even see. My hands are completely dry, of course, from... Just a basic test though, but all right, I think that's successful. And it's right in a good spot. And you can reach all the frets. All right, we'll see you next step. Pretty sure I, I showed, but I'm not sure if I showed exactly, but I, ultimately I went with the strap buttons there. And as you've seen earlier in this video, it turned out pretty cool. All right, so next step is going to be dismantle it and start working on the ugly phase part two. But I'm going to dial in the neck a little bit here and there. I did have to shim it just a little bit, but I'll show you all that when I get to it. But in general, it turned out really cool. That's really wicked. 
Yeah, I like the fact that it spins. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna look so cool with the paint. And the string trees turned out good. And I'll do my logo as always. And same thing in spray paint, so it's not gonna be. But, uh, I wanted to incorporate some spinach, but it didn't work out. A can of spinach, because you know, Popeye and the spinach and the smoke from the pipe. But in general, I think that turned out really cool. Yeah, that's good lighting right there. So, all right, and we will see you the next step. Let me show you the next. See, I did shim it a little bit, so I'll fill all that in with wood filler or uh, bondo, and it'll make it look really killer. So, all right, but um. And we're right in the center of the lines and I think we're good and I'm using light gate strings and we got plenty of room for intonation and it sounded pretty close I mean I got it you know I was strumming it like you heard and that was just I didn't even use the tuner because I didn't even put the battery in the tuner that was just tuning by ear so it turned out really good so all right we'll see you next step I'll probably let this settle overnight and then give it another string um, test it tomorrow and then I'll show you inside and everything so all right, and we'll see you in a little bit. Hope everybody's having a good week. Monday, Popeye Electric Guitar Build. Yeah, all right. Looks pretty cool. I like the fact that it spins. You can almost do like a spinning thing. Do like a demo where you spin it. <laughs> That's cool. Just do a stripper pole guitar. What do you think of that? All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. Dialed in the neck pocket a little bit, and uh, I'll do some sanding, but this will conclude today's progress on the Popeye electric guitar build. We're going to let this settle overnight, and then we'll tune it up, and then we'll dismantle it tomorrow, and then do a really good... I love crows, don't you? I really don't. I hate crows more than anything, but anyway, so, and we will see you tomorrow. Right, have a good night. Show back here. Good morning, everybody. It is November 15th, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Popeye electric guitar build. I was able to get it really in tune and intonated. Let me adjust the camera here. And it sounds pretty good. It looks pretty killer. I mean, I'm really digging the shape. It's, uh, it's really come together from, like I said, from the concept drawing to where it is now. Just want to see some sounds, maybe. Um, uh, of course, it had it in tune, but these strings are, I'm using the cheapest possible strings that I had on me that, you know, I just use for the string tests and not to worry about, you know, wasting a set of strings. But uh, these strings I got with guitars as extra strings that I bought from China or whatever, and they're just, they're complete garbage, so. And this neck does have some some dead frets and some, you know, I'll do all the leveling, crowning, and polishing so that'll straighten everything on the neck completely. But it does have maybe not those two strings, but see. Of course, the strings are stressed. I had it perfectly, it's perfectly insinated, but like I said, these strings are garbage. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool shape. I really dig what I think where the input jack is right there. I think it works out good when you're sitting and standing. It doesn't get in the way of anything. So, um, uh,
say I love is that kind of might. Open your eyes, yeah, it's like fire and vice. But I'm killing you, but your face turns blue. Not just a man, but a pumpkin stream. Oh, young for love, young for love, young for love. Standard Who, and of course, they they drop all the way to D standard, but but it sounds pretty good. I mean, it and these strings too, like eights or nines. Normally, I use tens, so the strings are really light. Like I said, the fretboard needs a ton of work, but uh, I wish I had smell -o vision Anyway, <laughs> somebody called the phone there and it totally cut the video, so... But, overall... <laughs> it's hard to play. It's still dry. But anyway, uh, successful intonation and tune. And when the color gets on here, it's going to be awesome. And I decided there's... I've seen a few different varieties of the color scheme, but I'm going to go with the black, the red, the black, um, or the red, red, black with the center, black shirt. I'm trying to find the perfect pink. It's like an opaque pink for his skin tone. Of course, white for his hat blue for the little bobbles and that's basically all the color oh yellow for the pipe and then yellow for the circle for the hat but other than that i mean the colors are straightforward and i did see different variations but i think the red will really pop and then i'm definitely gonna do 2k clear coat over the top of everything and i'm not gonna try to contour the wood rain filler too too much because I'm, I'm gonna try a little bit but i'm not gonna go crazy like i did with the bart simpson guitar so everything should be good so all right and next step is going to be to dismantle everything, sand all the extra wood filler. Because I put a little wood filler in the uh, the neck joint there to make it absolutely perfect. Get all that dialed in, and then the ugly phase start too. And we'll start that and start getting the start making the body look as best as it can. Try to make my best finish as always. But all right, so the Popeye electric guitar, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I like the the openness of that with the knob there because that's kind of unusual kind of you know this this body shape kind of it reminds me in a way of uncle you know like uh rick nielsen's uncle dick guitar it kind of has that same feel in this area which i still might do um, i think i'm going to definitely do a copy of that guitar as well all right we'll see you all next up me dismantle all right how's everybody doing it is still the 15th of november 2002 and it's time to start working on again on the uh, Popeye electric guitar build. This time we're working on the uh, ugly phase part two. And we're going to use the plastic wood grain filler. Still got to swing by and pick up some more, but I've got a little left here. Let me show you what I've got left. And I usually mix it with water. That's all I've got left, so it's not going to be nowhere near enough to complete the whole guitar. So start mixing on that and get me a batch mixed up and then start applying with the fan brush I've showed this in past videos my steps on this um, so I'll show you after I get some coats on there I usually do the sides and the back first and then we'll work the front all right we'll see you in a little bit all right we 
Quick update, Wolverine Fuller Part 2. Our Ugly Face Part 2 is in full effect. And as you can see, I've got the first layer, layer, first layer of uh, wood green filler on the back and sides. And it looks, looks as it should. It looks pretty awesome. And I like it after a couple more layers, it'll all become one uniform color. So that's pretty sweet. So, all right, we'll let this cure. Got the hanging on above. Uh, I'm not going outside. It's kind of off and on rain day, and I, I don't miss the crows or squirrels or critters or noises of the dogs just going nuts at each other. So it's kind of peaceful inside here, just painting the body. So, all right, we'll see you after I do a few more layers. All right, see you in a little bit. All right, we got round two I just put on. And you can see it's starting to become one uniform color. It's looking awesome. Yeah, I'll have one more. Enough uh, material for one more coat. And actually, real quick, I actually did shift the lines here. These two lines. Originally, this line was going to the opening. And this line is kind of tapered off. <laughs> but I recarved the line with the X-Acto blade and to match the front of the see that's that's where you catch these things because this is actually the color red and this will be red and it red all the way goes around the front and then you know the red is uniform to his um i don't know what you call that his scarf or you know the military anyway so yeah that look that would look kind of strange to have and i was thinking how many knew that so but real quick yeah but yeah it's looking pretty cool I like when it comes together, Ugly Face Part 2, and of course I'll see in this completely smooth and flat and make it look perfect when it dries. But yeah, it's going to dry overnight, and in the morning I'm going to head out to get some more of the plastic wood. Hour and a half round trip, next city by, it'll have some good, but it's cheap, and I might see if I can find some flesh cone pink paint. Which I had, you know, I, I did the, the, hand, the hand guitar and the pink that was with that. I have some of that, but it's it's kind of dark, and I kind of wanted to go with a lighter peach, more of a skin tone. But anyway, we'll see. But yeah, all right. We'll catch up with you after we finish the third coat, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, take it easy. Good morning, everybody. It's November 16, 2022. And I just wanted to show you, I had all the layers of the Popeye electric guitar build on the back and sides. Completed the layers and ran out of material, so I'm going to journey today. To a nearby city to get what I need maybe pick up some dark primer I think I'm gonna go with some darker primer uh, probably like black flat primer or dark gray primer and that way it'll fill in all these grooves and crevices and I'll paint brush it in and everything like that then when I go to spray the color it'll still be remnants of it in the creases and it'll make it easier so all right it's looking pretty awesome and of course we got to do the front front is yet to be done so there we go one final look <laughs> all right so we're gonna continue working with this today i don't know if we'll sand today or not probably we can probably get to the sanding and hanging it on the hanger maybe get some primer coats we got plenty of room on the racks so all right and we'll see a little bit we're gonna head off to the Lowe's in a nearby city. See you in a bit. All right, we're on our way to a nearby city to pick up some of that damp wood that we like to get. <laughs> so it's nice to get out. As you can see, it's kind of a uh, dreary, cold day. And I'm just filming for a second. I'm paying attention to the road. So, all right, we'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Good stuff. We got two of them. And we got 
So I'm really gonna try some of this Rust Oving primer. I haven't had much luck with the uh, Rust Oving. Well, sometimes it's kind of hit and miss with the Krylon and Rust Oving, but these are fairly cheap, and we're gonna go ahead and give this a go. It says fast drying and sandable, wet sandable. So I don't know if that means that it's not wet sandable or wet sand. Anyway. All right. So we are headed home. We're on racetrack and you know, Beale Parkway. <laughs> I don't come out here that often. I used to live out this way, but yeah, it feels good to kind of get out and about, but it doesn't feel good. One thing about Lowe's or Home Depot or any kind of uh, you know brick and mortar stores, why do you, they have to blare the music while you're there shopping? It's like you need some sort of distraction. You know, you can't be just there just shopping in quiet you have to have some blaring music in the background but anyway just me ranting all right so we'll see you when we get home we'll see you in about a little bit all right. all right back at the homestead i went by walmart picked up some essentials and i think i found the perfect color for the skin tone of the popeye electric guitar look at that wow i mean it's super ultra matte but that doesn't matter i'm going to cover it with the high gloss 2k clear coat but yeah that's that's awesome. It's fairly cheap. I think it was like six, seven bucks for one can. It's gonna get two cans because I got the Lisa Simpson guitar to do also with the same color. But I think I'll just see how one goes. And I could always order it online if I have to. Or they had quite a few more in stock there. All right, so we're at the house. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are back at the house. We got a fresh, fresh box of the plastic wood two-in-one body color. Um, with green color so now we're gonna mix up a batch got all my stuff and we'll start applying a few little light coats and I think probably put about five or six coats really on there and it'll really come together and it'll all be one color look pretty good as you recall we've got the back already complete the back and the sides done so all right so we'll see when I get some progress done see in a bit all right how's everybody doing got the first layer of uh, wood green filler on the body on the front and I just look, this has always been my favorite part of the build. Um, because you take the, the body that's kind of rough and it's kind of, you know, it's imperf you know, it's rough, it's, it's uneven. And this is the step where it actually turns it into a super professional, smooth looking body. So this is my favorite step. I always call this the ugly face part two. And this is the transformation, the phoenix rises from the ashes i mean it's it just looks so cool and it starts to become one uniform color it's just the first color so you can still see through to the the blue bondo but after i get about two or three more coats on there it'll look uniform and then if you've watched me my builds in the past you've seen to where when i sand this step and then i go through all the sandpapers and then we go with the primer it just it just looks amazing and i did get the dark colored primer like a, you know the earlier video from um from low or home depot and four Walton beach so uh yeah it's pretty cool so all right we're gonna let this dry you can see where it dries it doesn't take that long to dry but you know, got the fan going but it is kind of cold outside. It's like, uh, it says it's 51 degrees right now. That's what it says on the TV, so. But, all right. So I just wanted to show you the first layer. It's gone on. That's cool. And see, so yeah, I wish I had to recycle plastic containers. That way I can use it for this kind of thing. But yeah, that plastic wood. If you've never used this uh, product before, I highly recommend it. I mean, I use... The second ugly phase i mean the first phase just any bondo will do any bondo you can buy at any automotive place but that they don't sell everywhere so you have to kind of find out that home depot always has it so it's like 12 13 dollars a tub and you could probably get about four or five guitars out of each tub so yeah i go through quite a bit i used to collect the the tubs and save them but there's no need so i've been pitching them but um all right and we'll see after i get another coat or two in there Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, just a quick uh, update. Uh, looking <laughs> looking amazing. That is just awesome. Alright, uh, two layers of uh, the wood grain filler has been applied. And 
It is looking awesome. Yeah, see, like I said before in an earlier video, I love this this step because it all one uniform kind of color and it just kind of comes into play how it's going to look. Yeah. All right, I'll probably go two more layers of wood green filler on the top. So as you can see, it's curing as we speak in the drier areas and then let it dry and then we'll keep going and uh, we'll see you next step. See you after the next couple layers and we will see you soon. All right. All right, the final layers of wood green filler have been applied and it is looking sweet. All right, so we'll let this cure. Um, it's already kind of late in the day and the sunset's fairly early. So we're gonna let this dry overnight and then first thing in the morning, we're gonna start sanding. And then maybe we'll get around to putting some uh, some flat uh, primer coats on there and have it looking awesome. So, all right, so hope everybody's having a good night. And I might do another video. Well, I'll do a video tomorrow when it's already fully cured. But yeah, it's looking pretty awesome. Popeye electric guitar build. Yeah, see how everything looks uniform now. Ugly phase part two. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, take it easy. November 17, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Popeye electric guitar build. Alright, all the uh, wood grain filler has dried completely, and it's time to turn this ugly phase into a beautiful guitar. So, got my sandpaper and my tools ready. Just wanted to show you how it looked real quick before we sand it and make it beautiful. Alright, so I'll probably start on the back. And it's a little chilly. It's like 50 degrees. I'm not sure if it's too cold for paint or not, but got the paint, got the hanger, just in case. Alright, so let's start working. This probably take a while and we'll see in a little bit. Alright, progress update. I'm gonna take a break. It's getting kind of late in the day. I had to start late. I had a doctor's appointment today. Uh, so I just wanted to show you. I made some progress on the front and on the back. Still got a lot left to do as far as sanding goes, but it's looking pretty awesome. Yeah, probably gonna have to go a second round of uh, wood grain filler on the back, especially there's a few cracks that the uh, the wood grain filler is somewhat, it's made out of water and it dries the wood a little bit and then it leaves these minor little cracks in the wood here and there sometimes. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens every now and then. And there's just a few spots that I'll fill in. Not a big deal, but yeah. All right. And this probably concludes the progress for today. Because like I said, it's getting kind of late. And I had to start start a little bit later than usual. So, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. Ugly phase is working itself out. All right, hope everybody has a good night. And we will start again tomorrow. All right, we'll see you then. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine, chilly day here in Central Florida? It's 50. I've been out here working for a while, and Ugly Phase Part 2 has passed. I spent the last couple hours sanding all the different places, and I just wanted to show you. We are ready to put it on the hanger, and ready to put on some primer coats of paint. Yeah. It's probably too cold for this, <laughs> but I want to check on the label, make sure that it's within. Um, I think it's probably below what the recommended is, but since I was just a paint coat, I think it's going to be okay. And sure enough, since I start filming the dogs or showing the neighbor's dogs who's who and what's what. So, all right, just let me give you a brief. I'll show you. I took a bunch of pictures, but yeah, it turned out really well. As always, this is the transformation part of the build. So, alright, so let me put it, some paint on there. I'll save you from the dog cacophony of dog barking. But I'll just show you a close and personal view of the ugly phase part two being sanded. And there, there might be in, in a couple spots where I'll need to touch up after I spray the, the, the primer coats, but that'll be fine. 
All right, so I got my hanger out. And we're gonna put it on the hanger and see if we get some paint on there. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we got the, the body on the hanger. <laughs> That's always, you got the shaded side. All right, ready to put some primer coats and we'll see how it goes. And then, you know, we can sand that if necessary before applying the base coats of paint. <clears throat> there we go. All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> it's not too cold for this. Uh, so, I had to put another hanger up here. I don't know if this one's getting a little sketch. All right, so we'll see you in a little bit. All right, another quick update. We have successful application of the primer coats. Oh man, it turned out really good. I know it's really hard to see because it's black and it's a little bit dark, but hopefully the reflection shows. Yeah, that's awesome. Pretty cool. All right, we'll let this dry for several days, then put the sand on necessary, and then start layering the colors. So, there was just one spot I think I need to sand. This is this little spot area right in there, but other than that, everything turned out awesome. And I got the paintbrush out, and I painted in the little crevices that the direct spray could not get to. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Can't wait to put the, uh, like I said, the color. It's going to look amazing when the colors are all on. And then, like I had mentioned before, I'm going to do the 2K clear coat over the top of all the colors when it's done. So it's going to have super gloss appearance. And I'm starting to think that the colder the weather is, the better the paint. I mean, it's kind of counterintuitive, but, well... It seems like it's in the 50s and it's it's pretty awesome and I think the lowest is 50 that you can go with the paint that's what I read on the can but all right so we'll let this set and stink outside for a while because <laughs> I'm not gonna take it in the house because then I know I'll get get some uh, some comments about the smell so all right so we'll let it set for a while and we will see you in a little bit. Yeah, so I guess we can start working on some of the other things. All right. Let's see. Turned out pretty cool. <laughs> it's cool seeing it all that color. All right, and we'll talk to you soon. Good morning, everybody. It is November 20th, 2022. Um, Sunday and I actually feel so much better um, if you see in my earlier post uh, yesterday actually I had the fourth shot the second booster shot of Moderna and it really knocked me for a loop I felt like really bad for a day there but it has passed and I feel well again and I just wanted to show you with better light the uh, the Popeye electric guitar build because I noticed the pictures that I did post were very very dark let's see if I can do this one hand I think I can. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right, let's see. Let's do the front side first. Yeah, the uh, the primer actually turned out really well with the sanding and the body filler. Yeah, it looks killer. Yeah, in this light, you can definitely see it a lot better than because it's a dark primer, and I wanted to use the dark primer this time around because all the uh, the the carved out bits are gonna be dark. So. Theoretically, when I put the, the paint on there, all that will still, still be a bunch, still saved in the, the cracks of it. So, just wanted to show you real quick, just a quick update of how cool it looks and how it turned out. Yeah, that is awesome. I can't wait to do a little sanding. I'll do, probably do a little sanding of the primer here and then start applying the color. And I'll start with the, uh, as you recall, I found a really good... Uh, flesh tone color the uh, the paint and it's gonna work out really good and I'll probably do that first and I might brush in all the other colors so 
Well, maybe I'll spray the black, but I'll definitely like brush in the red and the white and the yellow. So, all right. So I'll be working on this maybe today, this afternoon sometime. But I just wanted to show you real quick the better lighting. Because like I said earlier, <laughs> the lighting on the original post was really bad. So, all right. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. And we will see you in a little bit. All right, take it easy. All right, good morning, everybody. It is November 20th, 2022. And I just wanted to show you an update on the Popeye electric guitar build. Um, I feel so much better. Um, got the Moderna fourth shot. And uh, yeah, did knock me for a loop, but it has passed. And I feel well again. It was just like one day of feeling like they had a severe flu, but that's kind of what it did on the second, third shot for me. But I just wanted to show you inside. I know it's a really dark colored primer, but I wanted to use this primer because, uh, you know, all the, uh, the bits that have been carved are dark like that. So the thought is that, oh, let me, okay, my hands are stuck now. <laughs> the thought is that, you know, when I do the paint, that it'll still be in the crevices. So... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And the primer turned out really well. Um, let me hang this back up and grab it again. Because I got my hand the wrong way turned around. <laughs> Let's see if I can flip it up and over. I might be able to with one hand. I don't know. Sure. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think I can do it. All right. Here we go. That's better. All right. Awesome. Yeah. See how good it turned out. Turned out pretty awesome. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward shape. Yeah, wow, check that out. Good morning, everybody. It is November 23rd, 2022. It's time to continue work on the Popeye electric guitar build. The uh, the primer coats have been had several days to want to give it a few extra days to kind of harden and get everything good to go. And we'll see if we can do some flesh tone color paint today. I got my sanding. We're gonna do some sanding and make it perfect as possible, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see. All right, sanding of the primer has been completed and it looks pretty good. And I wanted to show you before I put on some some color base coats of the flesh tone parts. And I'll put it up and I'll blow it off really good. But yeah, it's turning out pretty good. All right, there's the paint. And we'll put a few coats and we'll see in a little bit. All right, I'll sand it and blow it off on the hanger. Now we're going to try to put some flesh tone paint on there and we'll see how it goes. All right, fingers crossed. All right, got the first several layers of uh, flesh tone colored paint on there. And it definitely brings it to life. And it's the right color. I'm so glad I found that color. Like I said before, it's, it's a matte finish. So it's, uh, you know, I'm going to get the paintbrush. I know it's the dark side, but get the paintbrush and fill in where I couldn't get with the spray paint and this is just the three layers uh, three layers so far and yeah I'm gonna take my time with it of course so <laughs> it looks pretty awesome flesh tone and I'll paint all the other stuff when all the other colors come into play it's gonna look pretty amazing and then when the 2k clear coat it goes over the top it's gonna be just amazing all right so we'll see you in a little bit <laughs> All right, just a quick update. Uh, well, I figured, you know what? Uh, I might as well do all the colors, first coats of the different colors. So working on the blue first, the blue's complete, first layer. And I'll do multiple layers of each color other than the flesh tone, of course. And then I'll wait till everything's dry really well before I do the inner bits of the face. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you the blue bit first coat, so yeah. So next I think I'm gonna go with a white. So let me do the white little bits and we'll be right back. All right, got the first coats of white bits. The hat looks pretty good. All right, All right next color I think I'm gonna go with is probably the yellow. There's only a few yellow spots, the pipe, the bits, and the spot in the back. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, we got the yellow bits, come first coats. Pretty cool. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know, the uh, light out here is kind of bad, but yeah, after it's coats of yellow. And I'll, I'll make sure I get a really good video of it. Yeah, there you go. That's better lighting. You got the yellow bits. Okay, so we're queued up for the red bits. Got the red bits, and we'll go with that, and we'll see more about that. Alright, got the first cuts of red on, and it looks pretty good. Alright, one left color left to go, and that's black. Yeah, and black's always somewhat the easiest, I guess. So I just wanted to show you. Looks pretty killer. Alright. And like I said, I'll let all this completely dry before I even attempt to do the the eyes and the mouth and everything like that. Cause, and then there's going to be, of course, touch-ups. So, Alright, let's get the light angle. Alright, let's get some black on there. Well, let's see how it looks on the other side where it's a little bit brighter. Let me take a look real quick. Chat dog. Yeah, looks pretty killer. Alright, so we can get some black and we'll see a little bit. Fingers crossed on this one. Alright, first coat to probably go about seven, eight coats of paint on the other colors. But yeah, looking pretty good. Alright, let's see. Alright, first layers of all the colors have been complete. Of course the flesh tones are pretty much complete. I'm not gonna you know touch ups with touch ups but I won't have to go over that at all. So I just wanted to show you it looks pretty good and then like I said I'll let this first coat dry really well before I paint inside the eye and the mouth bits because you know I'm gonna have to touch the body to get to that but yeah I think it turned out really cool. I am what I am and all that I am. <laughs> Cool. And I'll touch up all the parts and make it perfect before the 2K clear coat. And when I do the 2K clear coat, I'm going to try to concentrate on an even coat. Well, I might even do two cans just to make it perfect, but we'll see. It might not need to probably just use one can. Okay. Everybody's having a good middle of the week. <laughs> it looks Go ahead and make some spinach. I got, 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'll probably take a better photographs inside. So, alright, and we'll see you later. Alright, we'll see you soon. I got the light just right. And first layers of paint, as you recall. It just looks really killer. I'm sitting there admiring <laughs> how well it turned out. Pretty cool. Yeah, can't wait to get some, you know, finish all the layers and then the paint and get the 2K clear coat and it'll be really glossy. It'll look really cool. But yeah, there we are. All right. the house I just wanted to show you uh, let's see if we can do this one hand I should be able to yeah. all right the first round of colors have been applied like I said outside the uh, skin tone is complete but I'll be touching up the black red yellow and white but I just wanted to show you how awesome it turned out yeah all right could have sprayed the black, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to put the 2K clear coat and it'll just level all the colors out. So, but there you go. That's how it looks with the colors. It does look really cool. All right. Sweet. All right. And we will see you tomorrow. We'll continue working. Well, we're going to let this uh, cure for a couple days. We'll probably be working on the neck, get the neck all squared away, do leveling, crowning, and polishing of the frets. And then the logo, and then I'll do the black in the eye and mouth bits. But there we go. A little bit of color kind of gives you kind of a preview of what the finished guitar will look like. All right. And we will see you soon. Good morning, everybody. It's been a few days. It's uh, November 27, 2022. It's time to continue work on the Popeye electric guitar. All right. So it's time for fret work. Uh, 
always a necessity, especially with some of these guitar necks I get fairly cheaply. And you always have to do the fret work. So first thing I'm going to do, I've shown this process so many times and I've said this over and over again. But yeah, I'll go through the basics. And I think I've decided on this neck, on this guitar. I was thinking of things to, you know, whether I was going to go straight dots, um, go with a saying on the fretboard or go with Popeye. Um, I could have done like blow me down, I am what I am, or one of the other catchphrases that Popeye is really kind of known for, the character. But I figure on this neck I'm just going to keep it simple, just like on the bar guitar. And I'm going to put P-O-P-E-Y-E -E on here, Popeye, in the Popeye font and spray paint it probably a gloss or probably a flat flat white i think i have flat white somewhere um so that'd be pretty cool and then i'll do my logo and everything like that and the level crown and polish the frets so we're looking to do that first i got my uh fret end file and as you fret ends are pretty sharp <laughs> catching my fingers but first i'm going to get my hammer i gotta find my hammer a little uh, fret hammer and make sure that all the frets are seated. I think I remember seeing a fret or two that needed to be tapped down just a little bit. But all right, so hope everybody's having a good day so far. All right, pile the fret ends down and they are feeling awesome. Rounded the fret ends, make sure that they're flush, there's no burrs. All right, so next we're gonna get the uh, straight edge and I'm gonna level. I'm going to make sure the neck is completely straight and we'll tape it off and we'll see you next step. Alright, so. right, got all the, got the uh, fretboard level, got all the frets taped off and marked. Alright, so now I got a fresh uh, 320 grit on my leveling beam. We're going to level the frets. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, got all the frets level. And, you know, this fretboard I knew had a lot of uh, low and high frets, so I had to take off quite a, quite a bit of, but there's still plenty of fret left. So good to go all right so i'm going to remark them with my sharpie and then we're going to put a crown on there and i got both my crowning files and we'll do that and we'll see in a little bit all right got all the frets crowned and it's looking they're looking pretty good as you can see all right next step is going to be to uh round and polish the frets so we'll see uh, in a couple hours when i get that done right we'll see in a little bit all right, got all the frets leveled, crowned, and polished, and they are looking awesome. Sweet! I love when they transform like that. All right, so the next step is going to be to figure out some, um, some f a font for the lettering, and then getting out the Cricut machine and figuring out, uh, like I said earlier, I was going to want to do like Popeye, so like a P. O P E Y E kind of scenario. Oh, sorry. P O P E Y E, something like that. Um, so let me figure that out. Next step, and then of course gotta do the logo, and we're gonna do the same logo um, as the you know the Bart Simpson and the other similar guitars, like right there. Um, all right, and we'll see you next step. We'll see you in a little bit. Alright, just a quick update. Working on the font and the placement of the letters. And I think I've come up with something that I really like. And of course, I'm going to do white lettering. And then I'm going to have a black outline that's connect the P there. And then connect the P there. And then have a black border around all the letters. Um, this font is from the original Popeye, the you know, the Sailor cartoon. And what I did, let's see if I can bring this up to get this font I had to use PowerPoint this is the original font right here as you can see Popeye and I'll I'll try to do this you know these fill in these letters just like that too it's gonna look really cool but the way I had to do it is uh, <laughs> through my PowerPoint trickery I had to actually go ahead and you know take the tools you know how uh, if you're familiar with PowerPoint you can do the shapes and you can go on click on that icon right there and then you can actually carve something like let's, let's say for example like you know you go ahead and you carve it and then right there you put it in there Oop, make it sure it stays okay well, it's not one to work for me um, I think it's so that's the shape right there and then you can fill it in like that but yeah Anyway, so that's the uh, the font that 
that I came up with. So what I'll have to do, uh, I'll delete all the rest of this stuff. Like I added, added the, the frets there. Let's see if I can get the cursor to work for me. Added the frets right here. Added them in, and then I added the uh, um, the neck, the same style neck. And then I, I actually made these first three letters a little bit bigger. Um, I wish I could show you all the, the technique of how I came up with this, but it's kind of complex, complicated, and kind of hard to phone. You know, hard, holding the phone and trying to demonstrate. Um, I should get a tripod, and that way I can show you exactly how I do everything. But yeah, so let me uh, get this on the, cri the Cricut machine. I did do a version here, but it wasn't the right uh, angle, so I'll have to make that over again. But yeah, all right. So I'll see you in the next step. Um, just a scatterbrain their uh, explanation of what I'm trying to do. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, looks like that day. Got the cricket machine out. Got the uh, the font, and actually I did make a perfect uh, sticker. Uh, the vinyl, the clear vinyl, um, and I was getting a spray paint it. Um, I still might try, but I think it'd almost be easier to hand paint it as opposed to trying to, because with the frets the way they are, I would have to, and I, I'm afraid it would leak. So yeah, I think the, be the best bet is I'm going to get a pencil and I'm going to outline it and I'm just going to hand paint it. I think that's, I've got some really fine tip brushes and I think that's going to be the best route. Um, if I were to spray paint it, it would look uniform, but seeing as how I'm going to add the, uh, you know, the little di different black border and black bits inside the letters, I think it's best just to do it with the, uh, the hand brush it. So, all right, so let me uh, get the pencil sharp. I got the pencil, a little sharp pencil, and let me draw out where exactly I'm going to paint. I'll be right back. All right, quick update, I've got the, uh, I know it's hard to see with this light in here, but I've got the pencil traced out, so I'm gonna peel off my plastic. I got some uh, some paint that I'm letting thicken a little bit, I'm letting the air get to it and let it thicken. I got some brand new brushes, so I'm gonna start painting in the uh, the logo there. It's gonna look pretty cool. So all right, so let me peel the tape off and start getting the paint ready, and we'll be right back. All right, peel off the tape, and I'm gonna show you it now. There we go. So I'm going to slowly and carefully, little by little, get the brush, anchor brush it out, and paint that in. Alright, and we'll see when we make some progress. Alright, we'll see in a little bit. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I'm going to watch <laughs> A Few Good Men, which I've seen probably about a good couple hundred times. Alright, we'll see. Alright, first layer has been applied, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> I can't wait to get some uh, black, uh, the outline in black, but that's pretty cool. All right, and we'll probably put about four or five coats, get solid coats on there, and then we'll do the black outline, and then we'll let this dry for a day or so, and then we'll do the logo. And then we'll continue working on the body. I already put the second coat of paint on the colors, and so I'll probably do a third coat, and then we'll do 2K killer coat, and then we'll be ready for assembly, but yeah, that's fun to show you. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, I don't know, quick update, got the black borders and a little bit of color on there. And I'll probably put another uh, coat on the white tomorrow. And this will include today's progress on the pop out like guitar. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. And I'll put uh, some 2K clear coat over the letters to make it really shiny and really harden the paint. Alright, hope everybody's good tonight and we'll see you soon. Hey, how's everybody doing? Just another update on the Popeye electric guitar build. I've decided I'm going to go with the black face on the neck. So I got it all taped up. And I'm going to spray some gloss black just on the face of it. And then have a white logo. Because I think that would look better with the, uh, the white logo of the Popeye inlay. I think to do a black logo would look a little bit silly. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and paint the front of the headstock black. And we'll see. Everybody doing December 6, 2022, and it's time to continue work on the Popeye Electric Guitar Build. I can see with the logo, and I got the black on the front of the headstock, and I got it taped up. I'm going to apply some 2K clear coat to the headstock and to the body of the guitar. So we'll see you after I get all that done. Fingers crossed. <laughs> all right, good afternoon, everybody. How's everyone doing? It is December 
6th, 2022. And I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Popeye electric guitar build. I just finished doing the 2K clear coat on the body and it looks amazing. I'm gonna let this cure for several hours and then I'll go through and touch up where the paint brushes couldn't get or the uh, the spray paint couldn't get with the the brush. I don't want to get anywhere close to it. I'm gonna run it turned out really good. You can see it shined up everything and leveled off everything really nicely. So but I know I to, I've been absent here on the page for a while but let's take a little bit of a break but I just wanted to show you how cool it's turning out. Yeah that's cool. You can see the reflection really good. Can't wait to put it together. It's going to look amazing. Yeah. Like I said, I'll touch up all the parts I couldn't get with the spray. The spray paint with the brush. Little crevices here and there, but yeah, it turned out really good. And I spray painted the pedometer access panel plates. And I got the headstock. Let me show you the headstock, what I did to it. All right, I put the logo, my custom logo, of course. I finished the inlay, got the logo, and then I sprayed the 2K clear coat over the top of that. So we are good to go. And like I said, the two pedometer cover plates, access panel plates. So let me set that back up there real quick without touching anything. <laughs> so. All right, next step after I touch up all the 2K is going to be assembly, so. All right, hope everybody's having a good day. And we will see you again really soon. We're going to start working on some of the projects I had, like the Lisa Simpson guitar, uh, Ninja Warrior 2 and 3. I got a bunch of necks in stock. Let me show you that real quick. <laughs> next I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 necks in stock right now. Plus the one that I got to put on the Popeye guitar, so. All right, and we will see everybody soon. And then I can't wait to get started working on the double neck. Uh, big mouth vampire guitar, that's going to be so sweet. All right, we'll see you soon. All right, take it easy. Good morning, everybody. It is December 9th, 2022, and it is the time. It is time to put together, to assemble the Popeye electric guitar build. I just wanted to show you how well the 2K clear coat turned out. Real quick, just wanted to show you. Looks amazing. That looks just awesome. I love it. See if we get some good reflections. Yeah, the 2K really brought it all together. <laughs> Made it look awesome. <laughs> Alright. Yeah spend some time and get this guitar to look great all right so let me set it up and i'll be right back but i just wanted to let's see let me set the phone down once there we go i just wanted to get a little bit of a better so i get a better angle eh. okay so let me set it up and we'll be right back all right got it set back down i love that 2k yeah, it just makes it look amazing Oh yeah, that is just killer. <laughs> I love this part of it. Of course, I'll do full photo shoot when I'm done in a full up close and personal video. But first step as always, you can install the um, ground wire for the bridge and then we'll install the bridge. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, got the ground wire installed and pull through to the pedometer cavity so now we'll install the bridge real quick and I'll be right back fingers crossed on this one we'll see inside all right got the bridge installed and it went pretty smooth sometimes that could be a little bit hairy and you know you never know i've had screws like that snap off on me before and it wasn't a good thing all right this time i think i'm going to do things a little differently and seeing how the tone knob is have to go through the cavity here i'll have to do that first and then you know do that route that wire first those two wires the ground wire and the everything so 
Let me get that set up, get my fresh pedometer, and hook up a uh, capacitor to it. So let me get that going, and I'll be right back. All right, got the tone knob wired up. Pretty simple wiring job on this one. Just got the uh, one side of the capacitor to the top, one side to the first post. Second post, I used the black wire, and then I used the yellow wire for the ground. And I always make sure I mark everything. That way I know where things at. I, you know, normally if they were together, then I would, you know, have white for the ground and red or black for the hot for her. But, seeing how this is on the other side of the guitar, I figured, you know, just make it easy and have the colors. So, alright, so let me feed the wires through, all the way through. It'll go through the back, and then go through the pickup cavity, and then right to the pedometer. And, and then I'll actually install that into the body itself. So, we'll see when I get that done. See you in a bit. Alright, successfully uh, pulled through and mounted. I mounted it with the screw and the nut, and I fed it through put it through the body and it was pretty easy and all the way to the pedometer opening so all right so that was perfect all right so now it's time to get the pickup situated so seeing how I'm not going to use a ring for this one I'll get the springs uh, and the screws I'm going to use I'm going to have to cut a couple nibs I'm probably going to have to cut a couple nibs I'm not sure I've got this wood here to cut a couple nibs that way it has something to anchor to that's not the actual body of the guitar but we'll see how that goes so let me get that situated and I'll be right back all right got my pickup out and it's awesome and I created two little nibs uh, these wooden nibs I'm gonna go ahead and glue them in the two points and I got some super glue and then glue them there that way the pickup with the screw and the spring have you know they can go be adjusted up and down but they're not actually drilling into the body of the guitar, so that'd be pretty cool. So let me get that situated and I'll be right back. Alright, after some convincing, we got the pickup installed, springs underneath, and the screws. And I think we got plenty of room to go up and down without interfering with anything, so that turned out well. Alright, so the next step is going to be to get the input jack situated. Uh, yeah that right there and I'm gonna have to wire it up and everything like that and then fish it through and then we'll see when I get that done all right see you in a sec all right successful fish through it took a little convincing but I forgot where I had routed I had to look at some uh, pictures on the computer where I actually routed it and so I had to go back under the uh, the pickup I forgot that I went through the pickup and then back through so I took the pickup out and then I wired it through so now we're good I didn't put the screws in there just yet so I'm gonna wait till that so now we're gonna wire everything up in the pedometer and everything like that and fingers crossed we'll see on the other side of that all right see you in a bit all right everything successfully wired hopefully I did everything correctly and we will see all right, let me get this installed through the back and then we'll get ready for a full-on sound test. All right, let's see in a sec. All right, got the screw screwed in and I pre-drilled. Still had a hairline crack in the wood, but that's all right. I put some super glue in there and you can't even see it, but I know it. So it's just I pre-drilled and everything, but you know, just got to be really careful. So, but it, it's fine. You can't even see it. Let's see? But yeah. Um, all right, so full-on test. Let's do the, as the usual, turn the volume all the way off. We got the hot, hot lead. Plug it in. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. I'm going to need to put my, hold on one sec. I'm going to, yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. So we are in. We should not get anything, which we don't. And then we'll turn the volume all the way up. All right. <laughs> Successful. That sounds bright. Let's turn the tone knob. Yep, definitely muffled. Turn the tone all the way up. All right, bright, successful installation of the everything, successful wiring. All right, great. So I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna put the uh, access panel plates on and we'll put the knobs on and we'll be right back. All right, see you in a little bit. Oh, one more thing too. Um, After I get the, after it settles and everything like that, on the knobs, the knobs are chrome. Let's see if I can find them. They're over here somewhere in this big old mess that I made. Yeah, I'm gonna clean up all this. Uh, here we go. 
clean up all this mess of mine, which I always do. I'm actually going to take a black, I'm going to get the uh, cricket, cricket machine, and I'm going to put a black circle on the top. So it's going to have a black vinyl circle. So it's going to give the impression, well, maybe I might. I might not, because the, uh, the rest of it isn't really, yeah, I might, I might not. I, I may, I don't know. Anyway, so let me put that on, I'll be right back. Go put the knobs on it look pretty cool yeah I might do the black ring or I might not seems how I might do a really fine one seems how this isn't didn't turn out really that dark but it's definitely noticeable so yeah let's do that and then let me peel off the uh, do that now before I got the strings on there before I forget so all right maybe I should have left it on there because I got to put the access panel plates on but anyway all right so we got that done and when we put the access panel plates on, we'll see in a second. I just want to do another, it just looked really cool when it kind of struck me. Just wanted to hit the video real quick. Yeah, take some pictures. All right, see you in a bit. All right, installed the access panel plates and they look pretty killer. They blend right in. It's pretty awesome. All right, so there we go. We got the body completely, in, everything installed, the body's done. So let me go grab the, go put this on the hanger clean up my mess that I always make and uh, that looks so killer that is so cool wow I love doing this this is so amazing it's such a gratifying feeling to have the drawing concept nearing to complete a guitar but let me go hang this up and then we'll get the neck going and we'll be right back that's so cool that definitely fills in the excess panel plates I'm back. I cleaned up my mess. <laughs> Put away all non-essentials. I got the neck out. And we're going to install the tuning keys and the string trees. And I'll see you when we get that done. But I just wanted to show you. I don't know if I showed you the uh, 2K clear coat on the front with the logo. And I put some 2K over the Popeye on the front. And we are good to go. All right. I'll see you in a little <laughs> Got the string trees and the tuning keys installed. And it went uneventful. It went beautifully. I love it when it goes smooth like that. So no issues at all. And what I decided I'm going to do before. Actually, I should do it. Let me do it after because the neck might get slippery. So let's get the body out here. And then we'll get the body and the neck together. And then I'll treat the fretboard with some... Uh, feed and wax, but I'll do that afterward because I'm thinking of I was gonna do it before but I was thinking it probably make the neck a little bit slippery and I don't need it slippery when I'm trying to install the neck. Alright, this is the moment of truth. Time to connect the body to the neck again. And then all we got left to do is install the uh, strap buttons. So <laughs> I think I filled in the strap button, one of the strap buttons on the back side again like I did on the the Bart Simpson, it's like deja vu, but uh, I see a little divot where it was, so it'd be easy just to poke through. And then, all right, so we'll see you when I do that. I'll get the neck out, we'll be right back. All right, as per, per, per tradition, I got the neck and the body side by side. All right, let's get these two together and see what happens. <laughs> I don't predict anything to go wrong, but you just never know. All right, <laughs> fingers crossed, we'll see you in a second. Okay, just like that, we've got successful joining of the neck and the body. Whew, and it went uneventful. Nothing happened. It went just as planned. And it looks awesome. Wow, check that out. That is so amazing. It's just amazing. I'm just, I, I, I get blown away whenever I assemble them. I, I know I spent how many hours he I couldn't even imagine the count how many hours it took to do this but uh just to see it come together like that wow that is just so cool look at that oh man that is just that's just something else <laughs> that's cool all right so the next step is going to be to treat the fretboard um I'll put the strap buttons on after the strings because if I got to do any shifting of the neck, that's one more screw I want to take out. Sometimes the neck has to be adjusted or shimmed or fixed. I'm thinking it won't, but you just never know. So, all right, 
let me treat the fretboard <laughs> and I'll be right back. Wow, that is so cool. Can't wait to plug it in, string it up, and see how it goes. Yeah, that that is that is just amazing. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, we have treated the fretboard, hydrated it real good, saturated it real good, and that'll soak in and it'll make it nice and saturate it and, and make it feel good and it'll oil it up a little bit. So, all right, ready for some strings. All right, so that'll be, and we'll get some strings on there. I'll probably work with the two E strings and see if we are. I think we are pretty dead center on this one. No need for adjustment, but all right, we get some strings on there. We'll see a bit. All right, got both E strings on there, and we are dead center. We are dead center in the poles on the pickup, and we are dead center on the neck. So you, either I'm getting really lucky or just getting good at this you know it's taken a long time to do this but yeah you want to get right in the center of each pole piece on the pickup and it'll it'll have such an awesome response and it's dead center and it's it's almost perfect uh, as far as intonation wise too as far as action I mean I'll probably go lower of course but uh, to make it perfect but and then you know adjust the neck and everything like that but uh, yeah okay so let me get all the strings on here and we'll be back in a while all right brilliant got the strings on there and it is perfectly everything lines up perfectly it's completely straight i think that's probably the straightest i've ever gotten things but yeah it looks so cool i'm glad i decided to do that black the headstock front of headstock black instead of leaving it wood grain it really ties it all in but yeah that looks pretty killer all right so i'm gonna uh, tune it up get it intonated adjust the neck see how it sounds adjust the pickup height uh, the saddle height, all that good stuff. Work on the action, get it playing just masterly. And uh, we will see you on the other side. We'll see you soon. That is so cool. Yeah. I think it turned out way better than my way, way better than I expected it to. Alright, we'll see you in a little bit. Alright, good morning everybody. It is December 10th, 2022. And I just wanted to show you again. Remember, I recall, let me adjust the camera again. <laughs> I just finished the Popeye Life guitar and I just want to give you a brief sound test this morning. I let it settle overnight, and of course, like I always do, and I want it to settle, so wherever shifting it's going to do, it shifts. And then I give it a full intonation and uh, tuned it up. And it sounds amazing. is super fast it's like <laughs> wow gotta say I'm really impressed the way this guitar turned out if you see me in the posts on this guitar you seen that I just completed it the other day, waiting for the paint to fully cure. And you know, yo, it's important. Wanted to make sure the paint, and it's just awesome having the tone knob aside with the empty cavity there. And it's just, it's just awesome. I mean, it... I just wanted to give you a few uh, sound, brief sound uh, demonstrations, how it sounds and how it plays. I'll have to leave a, um, a link for that pickup that, you know, I get it from uh, eBay and I've bought probably about a good 10, 12 pickups, the exact same pickups for different projects and I gotta say it's... And being a passive pickup, it's got such high output and such high, I think the, uh, the ohm output is like uh, 15.6, so it's pretty cool, but yeah, let me give you a few just a few sounds enough of me talking.
for some new picks. There's more picks on the way. These picks are pretty chewed up and they make you play really sloppy when they don't have a good edge on them. But yeah, that was the new Metallica Lux Eterna. It's actually fully insulated. Got plenty of room in the saddles. It's always a, it's always a plus. The finish turned out really well. I really like the uh, found that the the color. I mean, it was pure accident at Walmart. I'll, if you look back in the videos, you'll see the exact color. But it's a um, flat color. But the 2K clear coat made it shiny. So, but yeah, it's. <laughs> are completely level crowned and polished getting pretty good at that I've done I don't know how many hundreds of fretboards that I've done um, I've really got no complaints so good so far let me show you I did find the strap buttons I don't know if I showed that in the video or not but yeah I look back at a past video and as you recall there's a strap button here and then a strap button on the back of the heel of the neck plate and it hangs really well. Let me show you that real quick. Um, but yeah, but overall I am very happy with this guitar. I really like making these theme type of guitars because uh, it's just in my wheelhouse to have, sorry. <laughs> I'm prepared. To make these kind of guitars I plan on making a bunch more of these uh, themed style guitars and if you ever have any suggestions please leave in the comments I mean, there's basically no limit to what I can make I mean anything and my method my method as far as uh, how I use the the plywood and the different plies of plywood <laughs> different plies of plywood the uh, I can do any kind of shape that the routing is never an issue. It's never going to be an issue because this on a conventional, like if you were to make the body like out of a solid piece of wood, to route this would be nearly impossible unless you had some sort of router that I don't know about that can cut through corners because normally you'd have to like have a straight shot because of the layers of plywood and you see how I create these guitars, um, I'm able to bore out to where everything goes so as far as that goes so let me show you find a good pick not to just the camera of course but yeah see so I'm make sure the buttons are in there but it hangs perfectly just the camera again and these are brand new strings of course so they may stretch but
got really good response as far as when you hit a note and then you lay off. There's no hum, no buzz, no nothing. These pickups are just amazing. Like I said before, I'll leave a link. But uh, just wanted to give you a brief. And I got one of my lights out over there, of course. But <laughs> I think the lighting is still pretty good. But yeah, I really like it. So, all right. Hope everybody has a great weekend. I'll be in Destin, Florida tonight to see George Lynch play. <laughs> That'll be a really good show. So if I see you there, come up and say, hey, what's going on? If not, we will see you all in the next video. We're going to start working on the Sonic the Hedgehog guitar, the Lisa Simpson guitar, the Ninja Warrior number five and six, along with a dog-shaped guitar, and then a double neck of the Big Mouth Vampire guitar. But we will see everybody soon. <laughs>
All right, how's everyone doing on this fine? It is December 11th, 2022, and this is the voiceover on the Popeye electric guitar build. Yeah, this guitar was so much fun to make. Um, we are looking at the full photo shoot, and these are all the pictures that I took of the completed guitar. Um, and I think it just turned out absolutely amazing. This is on the fly recording, so this isn't scripted at all, so please bear with me. Um, this guitar was super fun to make. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy making these uh, themed type of guitars. As you can see, the, the paint just, it, I think it just turned out just way better than I expected. Um, I love that pickup. I've said in the video itself, how good that pickup sounds. Um, the guitar neck is top-notch quality. It, you know, I do all the leveling, crowning, and polishing of the frets, and it just plays beautifully. Um, overall, I don't have any things that, you know. Well, there was when I was installing the input jack, um, I did pre-drill the screws, but sometimes you have to be really careful. And, you know, there's minor hairline crack that developed when I was putting the screws in. But I was able to correct that with super glue, so it turned out pretty good. But that would be the only thing that I would really kind of try to do better on the next time. Um, not that it's, com it's completely invisible and you can't see it. But but overall, like I said, this guitar, it just, it just was so much fun to make. I really enjoy building guitars. Um, I've been doing it now for almost a couple years um, from scratch. Prior to that I'd done uh, you know modifications like I'd buy a guitar on Facebook and I'd strip it down, repaint it, everything like that. Um, prior to that I used to do guitar builds to where I'd buy like a kit on uh, eBay or Amazon and I'd assemble it and put it all together and you know do the paint the finish whether it be an oil finish uh, you know do the staining all that kind of thing um, and prior to that I mean I've been in bands I'm in my 50s actually I hate to admit that but um, prior to that I've been in bands since I've been in 17 18 years old um, a lot of cover bands and I've, I've played a lot of live shows and always had a, a love and affinity for guitars um, and I was really collecting guitars there for a while. I had upwards of 300 something guitars in my personal collection along with uh, numerous basses, mandolins, violins, anything. Anyway, so I think it's just the evolution of things. I've always had a passion for guitars. I always loved the way they played. I love new guitars. I I've never been so much into the relicking of guitars, the artificially making them look like they've been played and worn. To me, that seems kind of ingenuous and superficial, and it it's not definitely not my mindset. N no kudos to anybody that feels that way, but but you know I'm getting to the end of the pictures here, so I have to kind of wrap it up. But yeah, in general. Like I said, this guitar just was amazing. It was overall such a gratifying experience, and I'm so glad that I did it. Stay tuned to my Facebook page, um, Brian Pan Guitars, and this YouTube channel, and everything else. And I have plan on making so many more in the future, so I've only just begun. So everybody have a good night, and we will see you on the next guitar build. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. There's a lot more pictures. <laughs> so, on the fly here. So, <laughs> there we go. That's proof that this is a one-take, on-the-fly kind of thing. Yeah, uh, I like the wiring. The way it <laughs> Sorry about that. I just I thought it was at the end of the picture, so I was wrapping it up. But, as you can see on the back there of the guitar itself, the, uh, the input pedometer covers. Um, it was really kind of cool to have this guitar having that extra arm that kind of separates from the main body so you know you have to kind of routing it out <laughs> through the the arm there but yeah the colors just just pop and I'm glad the way I, I like the way I did it I would prefer to spray the different colors um, um, I actually sprayed just the flesh tone color with the spray cans and then I actually hand painted the other colors like the yellow there the uh, the blue the red the black um, and then I did spray 2K clear coat over all that, so it did kind of tie it in and make it all look very uniform and complete. Um, it's not perfect finish, of course. I could have did the next step and actually, 
you know, sanded it, you know, sanded it down, wet sanded it, and then. But see, I, I did the Dremel bits, and I don't think that would have been a practical thing because then all the, you know, the loose debris would get in the cracks, and it'd just be kind of a, you know, digging it out. But, but there we go. Okay, so we're getting to the end of the pictures now for real. So to wrap it up, um, like I said. If you have the means and the abilities and the passion, I, I highly recommend you pursue your passion and your dream. Because this building guitars is is made my life so meaningful and it's just such a wonderful experience overall. I mean, it's it's a gradual process and I've had to overcome a lot of adversity, adversary, you know, adversity in my life because. People around me think it's somewhat of a, you know, over, I'm just too involved and too into it, but I wouldn't have it any other way. It's it's my passion, it's my joy, it's my future, and it's in my blood, so it's something you can't do. So, here we go, we're at the end, so hope everybody has a good weekend, and have a good, happy, happy holidays, and we will see you on the next guitar build.